Liquefied Natural Gas Carrier Cargo Piping System Upon completion of this video, you will be able to understand the cargo piping system of an LNG carrier. Here is an example of an LNG carrier piping system. I know for those new to the LNG system, this illustration is quite hard to comprehend. Let's understand this piping system in a few moments, please don't skip and keep watching. Mainly there are three pipelines that are being used during loading and discharging operations, namely liquid lines, vapor lines, and stripping lines. Let's discuss each lines and let me show you where are those lines is located. This illustration show the liquid lines of an LNG carrier. The liquid lines is responsible in receiving and sending bulk liquid cargo to and from the terminal. The liquid LNG cargo will enter or exit in the manifold liquid line and flow towards the cargo tanks. Cargo piping system on board are color-coded for easy identification, usually blue for cargo liquid lines, yellow for vapor lines and light blue for stripping or spray lines. Liquid lines comprises of the following. The liquid manifold. The liquid crossover line. The liquid header. The filling lines. And the discharging lines. Each valves in the illustration on the piping system are numbered accordingly for easy identification on the actual piping system we have on deck. At the end of this video I will show you what does this piping system illustration looks like, compared to the actual cargo piping layout on deck. So please keep watching. Next we have is the vapor lines. Vapor lines is responsible for the transport of LNG vapor. During loading or discharging operation, the vapor line is used in controlling the tank pressure. Pressure in the tanks can be controlled by sending out vapor from the cargo tanks to shore, or to gas combustion unit, or to the engine as a fuel using the compressor on board. Depending on the operation, vapor line may take out vapor from the cargo tanks, or it may send in vapor in the cargo tank to achieve your desired tank pressure. We will discuss more on how to control the tank pressure on different cargo operation on our future videos. The vapor lines consist of following. The vapor manifold. The vapor crossover line. And the vapor header. Next we have is the stripping or spray lines. Stripping or spray lines are used for different purposes depending on what kind of operation we are doing. Stripping lines is used in stripping the cargo left in the cargo tanks using the stripping pumps. This may be done during internal transfer of LNG from one tank to another. Stripping lines are usually used when doing full discharged or less heal as possible. Stripping or spray lines is also used in controlling cargo tank pressure by spraying liquid cargo on the top of the cargo tank. During loading or discharging operation, depending on the arrangement between the ship and the terminal, stripping or spray line is used in cooling down the liquid lines and manifold arm prior discharging operation. This process is called cooling down. When temperature of liquid lines is at minus 130 degrees Celsius or as per agreement between the ship and terminal, that's the time where you can now receive bulk liquid cargo. Lines must be called first prior receiving bulk liquid cargo to avoid thermal stress on your cargo lines. There are more uses of the stripping or spray line but we will discuss them in our future videos. What we can see in the illustration we used, is the same illustration of the piping system we have on the computers in our cargo control room. Now let's check how the piping system looks like in actual. So this is how the cargo lines looks like in actual. If you notice the valves are numbered and are color coded for easy identification. Let's take for example the valve CG601 and CG602. In the cargo computers this is how they are identified.
Let's walk outside the deck and check the manifold of their color and valve numbers. I will assure you that the numbering and color coding in the piping system will make tracing the lines easier. This is the port side manifold, if you can see it, it is color coded and at the top you will see a number of that valve. In the computer in the cargo control room, the manifold will have same valve number as we have it here in the manifold. I hope that you learned something from this video. Feel free to comment down below for any question and suggestions. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and click that notification bell so that you will be notified on our future videos. Thanks for watching.